Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can recover a permanently deleted file from your Windows 11 operating system. So let's say you have deleted some file from your Windows 11 folder and you have also emptied your recycle bin. So it's not even there in the recycle bin. How you can recover that file or picture? Let's see. So what you need to do is you need to go to this URL, which is cgsecurity.org forward slash wiki forward slash test disk underscore download. I'm going to put this link in the description of this video so you can directly click on this link. And this is a free software which you can download and use it to recover your photos and files. So when you will scroll down, you will see the option for Windows 32-bit and Windows 64-bit. And if you are running uh, Windows 11, most probably it's a 64-bit operating system. So you can click on this Windows 64-bit option. And once you click on this zip file link, you can see this zip file is downloaded. So we are going to go to the location where this zip file is downloaded which is here. So we are going to just extract this zip file. So I'm going to right click here and then click on extract all. And then you can extract this uh, file anywhere you want. I will extract this uh, folder in the downloads folder itself, but you can extract this uh, at your desired location. So now you can see this folder has been extracted and let's go inside this uh, extracted folder. So once you are inside this test disk uh, hyphen 7.2 hyphen WIP folder, you will see two executable files here. One is called photo rag underscore win dot exe file. So when you click on this uh, option, it's going to show you the command line tool, right? So if you are a fan of command line tool, you can uh, use this command line tool. So you can see it's going to look like this. But if you are not a fan of command line tool like me, I like to use the second exe file with the name qphotorec underscore win dot exe file. So just click on this second exe file and I'm going to just uh, open this GUI. So the graphical user interface will look like this. So let's say I have this photos and pictures folder and I have uh, deleted this file. So I'm going to delete this file from here, from the pictures folder. So it resides in my C drive, right? So this pictures folder is in my C drive. When I right click here and then click on show more options and click on properties, you can see it's in the C colon backslash users, backslash username, backslash pictures. So it's essentially is in my C drive, right? Also, let's delete this file from the recycle bin. So this is the recycle bin. And once I deleted that picture from my C drive, it goes to the recycle bin. So let me just delete it from here also. So let me just click on delete and then click on yes. And my recycle bin is now empty, right? So now I will go to this uh, photo rack uh, GUI and select my C drive. So this first option here is your C drive. So you can uh, just make sure uh, the size of your uh, drive. So in my case, my drive size is 108 GB and that's how I know that it's my C drive, right? I also have D drive. So you can uh, see I, when I go to my PC, I have this local disk and I have this D drive, right? So I'm going to select the first option. This will be your C drive and I also have D drive, but I don't want to select that, right? So I'm going to select my C drive and then I will click on the browse option 
and then I can select any folder where I want to save the recovered files. So by default, it's going to open the same folder where you have extracted this test disk uh, utility. So let's say I want to recover all these files on my desktop and here I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to name it as recover folder. Okay. And then I'm going to go inside this folder and then select this folder. So you can see it's on my desktop and I have created this recover folder. So you can see I have selected the destination folder where I want all the recovered files to be saved, right? And then in this menu, we have, we have already selected the C drive and you will see all these options here. I can select the whole disk option here, which is the first option, right? So make sure you select the whole disk option if you want to uh, recover files from the whole disk. Uh, if you want to narrow, narrow your search, then you can choose the other options here, right? So I'm going to just choose the whole disk. I have also deleted many other files uh, from my Windows operating system. So it's going to recover all these files. So the only thing now remaining here is, let's say, I want to go to my uh, desktop and go to this uh, recover folder and I will just do this side by side so you can see the progress, right? So I have selected C drive. I have chosen the whole uh, disk option, which is the first option. I have provided the recovery destination and I have opened that destination here, which is empty for now. And now I'm going to click on search. So when I click on search, it's going to start the search of all the deleted files and you will see the list here. So how many exe file it has recovered, how many TTF files, reg files. So it's recovering slowly all the files, right? So basically it's going to create one directory in your recovery uh, folder. And then when you go inside that folder, it's going to, uh, recover all the files in that folder. So most of these files are DLL files and uh, the TX file, GZ files, all these files are here. So you can see all these files are recovered. So you can see the process right now, the 98 JPG files are recovered, 80 PNG files are recovered. Right now it has only scanned and uh, recovered 1007 files in this short period of time. But uh, when you let it run for a longer period of time, so it can take hours to recover all the files which are deleted. So just wait for this progress bar to reach to the 100% mark and all of your files will be recovered in this recover folder, which you have created and provided as the destination folder, right? So here, for example, I can go to the type here and then I can choose the JPG files and it's going to show me all the JPG files. So one thing to note here is the original name of the files will not be there. This tool will give the new name to all these files, but your files will be recovered in your original format. So this is how you can recover all the files which you have deleted permanently using this tool which is called PhotoRec and it's free to use. You can donate uh, if you like uh, this tool, then you can make some donations, but you don't need to uh, pay upfront for this tool, right? So I hope you have enjoyed this video and uh, hopefully you can recover all your files. And I will see you in the next video.